So on this channel, I've been creating a lot of content on how to design and make ebooks and landing pages for those ebooks so you can sell them. So in this video, I'm going to share with you just how you can start selling your ebook to make an income. After all, you have put your hard work into creating that product. So how exactly are you going to get rewarded for it? So in this video, I am going to break down the exact strategy that I used to come up with my ebook idea the steps that I took to build an audience and then monetize that audience to generate my first $2,000 from my very first ebook that I created when I got started online. Hey guys, my name is Dawn Marie and if you're new to my channel, I'm Dawn Marie and I have been documenting my journey of starting a digital product business from scratch where I'm going behind the scenes and showing you everything that I've gotten up to over the past two years to generate an income online. So if you're interested in learning more from me and getting insights into a beginner's guide to starting a digital product business, then I hope you'll stick around and subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your bell notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. So the first thing you should already have is an ebook. If you don't already have an ebook, here's how I would go about creating one and exactly what I did when I got started. And by the way, I didn't have anyone to sell my ebook to when I got started. I actually had to build an audience from scratch, which I grew to less than 200 email subscribers. So you really don't need a huge audience to get started with this. And by the way, if you want a handy guide to doing this so you can uncover it step by step, then check out the 10 day action plan for launching and selling a digital product, which I've listed in my description box below. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I started blogging or building my online presence where I was creating free content online and attracting readers. So that's really all that I had. I didn't have an email list at the time, but I knew that if I wanted people to know about me and find me, that content would be the answer to that. So I started creating content content on what I knew and people were coming to my blog and reading my content and what that was doing was creating the perception in their minds that I knew what I was doing. I was at least one step ahead of them in their journey and that they felt that they could learn from me. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here now on my YouTube channel. I know that to build an online business, you need an online presence. You need that brand awareness so that people can find you, get to know you, your values, your personality, and then decide whether they want to learn from you. So I have been creating a ton of content here on my YouTube channel to attract people to me just as I did when I wanted to monetize my audience back then and sell my ebook to them. Now, most of the content that I created was content from that I knew was within my knowledge and it was more how to or educational type of content that teaches people how to solve a huge problem that they had and one that answered their questions. And to be honest, I just think that anybody can really do this. All you really need is that ambition, that persistency and consistency. So once I had built up my readers on my blog, I then started building an email list just to get an idea of whether people were interested in the ebook concept that I had. So I didn't create the ebook yet, no. Instead, I built a quick landing page to collect email addresses. And what I said on the landing page is that I want to show you how you can generate affiliate sales without creating a huge website or blog. Now, the reason I did this was because I just wanted to find out how many people would be interested in reading an ebook like it so that I would know that I can actually go ahead and invest my time in creating the actual ebook, which is a good lesson because some people create an ebook without knowing whether people will want to pay any money at all to buy it. It. They think that they know what their audience wants and they create digital products doing it this way only to then waste time and effort when it doesn't sell later on. So that's why I decided to get proof that people did want to know more about my ebook concept. And when I did that within the first day, I would say I got at least 10 subscribers, 
which wasn't bad because it let me know that there was some interest and so I could go ahead and start planning out the creation of my ebook. Now I did spend about one month writing and creating my ebook and during that time I was also able to see how many email subscribers I had in response to my landing page. So by the end of the month I ended up with almost 200 subscribers. I also do want to say that if you are creating an ebook, don't spend a great deal of time writing it, especially if you don't know whether it will sell. So I suggest investing a maximum of one month only or even less. I would really stress on the less time you can put into it because you really don't want to spend too much time or money on a product that you just don't know whether it will sell. If it does sell, then at least you know it has the potential to go on and do much better. You can at least work with, the, with your customers and refine it using feedback that you get from them in order to improve the product. Okay, so the next thing I did to keep my email subscribers engaged was I created a five-day email sequence which I used to nurture my subscribers with helpful content that really broke down any myths they may have had about doing affiliate marketing. Now, the reason I did this was because I wanted to pre-frame my subscribers that what they thought they needed they didn't actually need at all so my subscribers thought that they needed a huge website with tons and tons of content to start affiliate marketing well in fact all they needed was a simple landing page with relevant content and affiliate links embedded in it so that they can start generating affiliate sales and I knew this was it because I actually went through the entire process myself. I was able to create that same blog, embed an affiliate link in it, and then use traffic from Facebook ads to drive traffic to the blog post and generate affiliate sales. And which is why it's so important that when you are creating or writing an ebook, that you really do so based on the knowledge that you have, and then you can share that knowledge with other people to help you generate sales and also to help your customers get the results that they're looking for or to solve that major problem that they okay, have. So I have my email list growing with visitors from my blog. I'm writing my ebook, which I finished in just about one month. So the next thing that follows is I'm creating my landing page. Now I use lead pages as my landing page builder and I created a simple landing page to start getting people to know more about the ebook. So exactly what will they find in it? Why I created the ebook and the outcome that they were going to expect if they purchased it. So in terms of where I hosted the ebook, I hosted it on Google Drive so that when someone made a purchase of the product, they had to then click on a link which was the Google Share link to get access to the ebook. Now my ebook was delivered by email, so I also used Aweber as my email marketing tool, which was connected to lead pages so that when someone purchased the ebook, Aweber in the background will be fulfilling that email and that email had a link to the ebook inside. Now again, this entire process is found in my 10 day action plan to launching and selling digital products. So if you haven't yet signed up for it with that step-by-step -step plan, then make sure to use the link in the description box below. Okay, so with all my system set up and I'm ready to go to the final thing that I had to do, which was to push the button to launch it. And who am I launching it to? Well, my less than 200 email subscribers who I had built up over the month and who had expressed an interest in my ebook. Now, what made these sales so easy is that these people literally told me that they were interested in learning more about my process of, a do of doing affiliate marketing without a huge website or blog. So all I had to do was literally deliver the answer, which was in the form of the ebook. So I created a five step email launching the ebook. I reduced the price of the ebook for early bird buyers and then told my subscribers that I was going to increase the price of the ebook by a certain time, which would drive more sales for those who wanted to get access to the ebook at the lower price. And that's my entire business model for launching and selling my very first ebook. So let's go that over again. First, I built my audience using a blog. 
Next, I built an email list by narrowing my email subscribers to a group of people who had one specific problem. Next, I nurtured those subscribers to build a relationship with them. Then I built out my system, which included my landing page and sales page and the email fulfillment. Then finally, I launched and sold my ebook to the email subscribers to generate $2,000 in ebook sales. And that's really it. This is the exact system that I'm going to continue to follow, except maybe instead of driving traffic from my blog, I'm now going to drive traffic from my YouTube channel. And if I could do it, I, who no one really knew about, I didn't have a huge audience. I was not popular at all. So I know that if I could do it, then you can do it too. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching and if growing your audience is one of your major sticking points because at the end of the day, you do need people to buy your products and without them, you'll have really no business, then check out this video on content creation for audience building so you can see what tactics I'm recommending to building an audience from scratch. See you over there.